And we are back here on the GSMC Football Podcast. And for the final part of the show, we are going to talk about the uh, the current standings, where everything is now after Week Six. So yeah, I mean we're almost at to, we're almost at the midway point of the season, which I I just I can't believe that I, I really can't. I, I the one thing is when you get football back, like it's great and all, but it goes so fast. And once again. That is the case. Um, also, again, forgive me. There's neighbor's house is still getting work done, um, so that's why if you hear some of the background noise, uh, that's what that all is. So um, yeah, let's get right into uh, the current standings now. So we'll start off with the AFC East. So the Dolphins currently are five and one. They're in first place. The Bills are a game back. The Jets are two games back at three and three, and the Patriots obviously are one and five. Um. I, you know, I still like the Bills to win the division. I know the last game of the regular season is going to be in Miami, so that's going to be uh, that's going to be a tough game. I hope it does come down to that because that would be awesome. Because uh, that game would be the last game of the regular season, probably that that would probably get flexed into Sunday night if it comes down to that. So I really hope that ends up being the case because that would because that would be awesome. Uh, the Jets, I mean, listen, I I think they could be a wild card team. We'll talk about them. Uh, during the week, I think tomorrow we'll do a, we'll do a, a segment on them, and uh, you know I'll give my thoughts on them moving forward. But you know, listen, their defense is going to be what ultimately carries them to the postseason right now because Zach Wilson has to continue to play mistake-free football. Um, you know, obviously they couldn't really get the running game going this past week like they did the previous one. So you know, you want to see Brees Hall hopefully you know have a monster game again, um, and well. I think he might because, you know, they're on the bye. But when they come back, they'll be playing the Giants. So that'll be fun. Uh, but, yeah, uh, that, that they're definitely going to be a team that I'll, I'll talk about uh, this week. The Patriots are 1-5. and five. I mean, what more is there to say? I mean, listen, a couple years ago, during the Brady era, I mean, the standings would be flip-flopped, you know. But right now, that's not the case. The Patriots... Uh, they are uh, they're one of the worst teams in football and they are not doing it they're not going to do anything this year so um yeah so we'll move on to the AFC North so right now the Ravens they are a half game up on the Steelers and the Browns Bengals are still in last place at three and three I still think the Bengals are the favorites I, I just to me I, I just like their team better than you know the other teams ahead of them although I will say the Browns defense, I mean, they really showed you something on Sunday, shutting down the 49ers. I think, again, what's going to hold them back is Deshaun Watson because he just really hasn't been that good this year. I mean, they won with P.J. Walker at quarterback. So, But, yeah, Deshaun Watson actually might be the reason they're held back. And you would think that's not the case because, you know, he used to be one of the best quarterbacks in the NFL. But, you know, with everything that's gone on with him, it really hasn't been the case. Um Listen, the Steelers, I, I think they'll still finish it with a respectable record because that's just what Mike Tomlin teams do. But I, I just can't see them winning winning the division. Um, I, the Ravens and the Bengals have better offenses than them. I still don't. I, I don't trust their the Steelers' offense with Kenny with, with Kenny Pickett. Um, you know, I think Kenny Pickett can be good, but you know, the the main, real problem is they got to you know change up the offensive coordinator. They got to get rid of Matt Canada, which for some reason they just don't want to do. So, um, but yeah, uh, Ravens right now are in first place, but, and the Bengals are in last, but I, I think the Bengals will, uh, catch up to them. So we'll see, uh, in the South, I, I think the Jags now are starting to find their groove, a uh, big win over the Colts. They're four and two. And I, I think they, uh, th they're going to end up winning this division. Um, you know, Anthony Richardson, him getting hurt, the Titans dealing with their quarterback situation, um, yeah, it's uh, it, it's a problem there. I mean, the Texans, I, I think they might move up to you know being in second place. They're playing well, but yeah, the Jags, I, I, I this is their division to win. But yeah, they're four and two. Chiefs are five and one. Raiders three and three. Chargers two and three. Broncos one and five. Um, you know, the Chiefs are going to win this division. Um, you know, the Raiders. I mean, good for them. They're three and three, but um, you know. It's uh, 
uh, it's pretty much a wrap when it comes to that division. I don't know. Did something uh, – I have to look at something really quick because my friend's talking about picking up running backs. All right. So, uh, okay, I don't know if anything – because we have Christian McCaffrey in one of our leagues. I don't know if there's any news that came out on him while I'm recording here. Just says he's undergoing an MRI. But, yeah, we're going to have to pick up running backs because we have James Conner, we have Christian McCaffrey, and they're both hurt. So now we got to, you know, figure out what we're going to do. So, uh, but, yeah, um, I didn't, I just checked Sleeper, the fantasy app, so nothing seemed like uh, – nothing new came out, I guess it seems. But we'll find out shortly. Um, so yeah, the Chiefs, I mean, they're, they're going to win the, the West and the AFC. All right. So then we get to the NFC East. The Eagles are five and one Cowboys, four and two commanders are three and three giants are one and five Eagles. I think still win this division. Um, you know, the Cowboys, yeah, they beat the chargers, but I, I just look at the Eagles as the better team. Um, you know, and we'll see what happens when these two teams play each other. Last year was interesting because in both of their meetings, uh, one of the starting quarterbacks was out. The first game, Dak was out. The second game, Hertz was out. Uh, the Cowboys did up did put up a lot of points against them in the second game, but I, I just I, I think the Eagles are the better team. I think they still win this division. So, and the command I mean the Commanders listen they could play for a wild card three and three. I mean they still got a shot. Uh, Sam Howell has looked good. I mean really he only had one really bad game and that was against i mean the bears game was rough in the beginning but he still passed for almost 400 yards uh but the bills game that was awful i mean he was really bad but other than that i mean he's been solid so we'll see how he is moving forward but you know you got to like what you see um with some of the things sam howell is doing obviously we just talked about the lions they're five and one they're two and a half games up on the packers i mean they're, they're gonna win their division they, they just are they are by far the best team in this division and you know hey they could have the one of the top two seeds maybe in the nfc we'll have to we'll have to see so um yeah uh the south i you know i think this might be uh you know both south divisions just aren't very good uh the south i i mean i, I think it's either going to be the bucks or the saints right now the falcons um and the Saints are tied for second. You got the Bucks at three and two. I don't know. I mean, I like the Bucks to win the division. I just really don't like what the Saints are doing offensively. I, I think for me, Dennis Allen, they might have to move off of him as their head coach because you know, I think ever since ever since Sean Payton left, they've kind of just been taking steps back. And um, you know, I mean, look at what Sean Payton's doing over in Denver. You know, so. Um, I, uh, I I like the Bucks still, especially because they got that division win over the Saints in New Orleans. Um, but you know I wasn't very happy with how the Bucks offense performed against the Lions on Sunday. That was kind of a, uh, you know, that was bad. That was a bad look for me because I was you know kind of positive with the Bucks. I'm like, hey, you know, they could beat the Lions maybe, but yeah, no, that was not the case. Um, Niners are five and one. Moving on to the NFC West, Niners are five and one. Obviously, after the loss to the Browns, Seahawks are three and two. Rams three and three. Cardinals one and five. Seahawks and Rams are going to be fighting for wild card spots. Uh, Niners, I mean, I think that's still their division to lose, and I think they'll end up with the division at the end of the year. So we get to the wild card. You have the Bills that have the top spot, Steelers, and then the Browns, and then behind them you have the Colts, Texans, Jets, Raiders, Bengals, Chargers. Um, you know, the Titans are two and four Patriots are, and Broncos are one and five. Yeah. I think you kind of like, unfortunately, you know, for the Titans, I'm going to kind of have to discount them. I don't think they're, you know, really going to be fighting for anything this year. I mean, especially with the injuries, Patriots and Broncos, you can kind of forget about them as well. So really from the chargers up, those are the playoff team. Those are the teams fighting for a playoff spot. Um, you know, of the teams that are on the outside looking in, I think the Colts are going to fade out now with, you know, Anthony Richardson being out for the rest of the year. Um, I don't trust the Raiders, so I would take them out. So that would kind of leave you with maybe the, t I mean, the Texans, I don't see them making the playoffs. So I think they'll get close if C.J. Stroud continues to play well. Um, but 
the teams that I would take out of that bunch is probably the Bengals, the Jets. I mean, I would throw the Chargers in there, but again, I don't really trust them either. Um, you know, so th there's a lot of teams that are still like it's very it's very close, but um, you know, those are probably the Jets, the Bengals, and the Chargers from that group is who I would probably put. You know, is more likely to make the playoffs. Um, you know, the Browns, I mean, they got a very good defense, but Deshaun Watson, I think, might be what holds them back. The Steelers, I don't think they're going to be holding that playoff spot for that long. Um, but we'll see. But that's where it currently stands in the AFC. Then over in the NFC side of things, you got the Cowboys that got the top spot, the Seahawks, the Rams at 3-3. Three and three. And then the other 3-3 three and three teams, you got the Commanders, the Falcons, the Saints, Packers are 2-3, and three, Vikings 2-4, and four, they're a game and a half back. Uh, the Bears and the Giants are two and a half games back. Cardinals and Panthers. Cardinals are two and a half games back. Panthers, three and a half. Panthers, they're not going anywhere. Cardinals are not going anywhere. Giants are not going anywhere. Bears, not going anywhere. Vikings, I I mean, they're two and four. I, I, I just think with Jefferson being out, they're, they're gonna their record's only going to get worse. I mean, I know they beat the Bears, but it's the Bears. Now they got the 49ers coming up. I think it's... It's too much of a mountain to climb for them. Um, the Falcons, I don't really trust them. Packers, don't really trust them at the moment. Saints, I said they can be a wild card team. So Saints, Commanders, Rams, Seahawks, Cowboys, those are... I mean, the, the Cowboys, Seahawks, and Rams are holding the spots. Uh, Commanders and Saints, um, you know, I kind of like them to maybe, you know squeak in uh from the teams that are on the outside looking in but the rams I, I mean listen they still got aaron donald matthew stafford a quarterback cooper cup is back you know like i said before they could probably be a wild card team but it's going to be really close and you know with the saints i mean they're on the outside looking in they got to get more consistent on offense um because right now they're still like kind of not not really i don't, I don't want to say a mess but they're just not a very they're an inconsistent team because they've shown flashes where you're like, wow, that, that was great. But, you know, until they get, they're consistent, they're going to continue to be on the outside looking in. The Commanders, I mean, offensively, you got to like, again, what Sam Howell is doing. Um, But, yeah, I mean, I don't really have complaints. Uh, well, I shouldn't say I don't have any complaints. But, yeah, right now, I mean, the teams that have the wild card spots, I mean, that could very well be what it ends up uh, being. Um, you know, the Seahawks have a very good offense. So, you know, I could see them, and, and, you know, they're an improving young defense. So I could see them, you know, making the playoffs again this year. I think the Rams could be a team that, you know, they have it, they hold the spot, and then maybe, you know, they kind of, you know, maybe a team knocks them off and another team surpasses them, but we'll see. But, yeah, that's the, uh, that's the current standing. So let me know what you guys think about that. Um, and, yeah. So that's that's basically it for the show today. Um, you know, I thank you guys all for uh, for tuning in, getting some comments, which I appreciate that. Uh, again, you know, to get your your comments recognized, you know, donate or tip to the show. Uh, again, uh, go to streamelements.com slash GSMC Sports Network dot slash tip. And again, uh, go to make sure to go to patreon.com and search up GSMC Sports Network to get all the exclusive content for uh, all the podcasts here on the GSMC Sports Network. So, uh, but yeah, that's basically it for me. Um, now, after this, I'm going to record the Patreon uh, for today. So I'll continue my discussion uh, on there. And um, and yeah, so that's pretty much it for me. So once again, I thank you guys for tuning in, leaving comments. Uh, but yeah, leave comments on the videos. Uh, make sure to uh, like and subscribe as well we appreciate that uh, i'm gonna have yesterday's show into four parts posted on both youtube channels by the end of the day so if you missed anything i mean you could obviously check out the full live stream but i'll have the uh the segments for each uh for the show uh from yesterday reposted uh, by the end of the day today so with that that is all the time that we have for today i thank you guys for watching uh, and we'll be back again tomorrow, 11 a.m. Eastern time, so make sure to tune in. So until then, I'm Kenneth Grunfelder signing off from the GSMC Football Podcast brought to you by the GSMC Sports Network. Have a good day, 
and I will see you guys tomorrow. Take care.